Hi, this is Dr. Ajit and today I'm going to discuss a very important test which is done in a pathology lab that is blood grouping. So what exactly blood grouping is? So a blood type or maybe blood group is a classification of blood based on the presence and absence of antibodies and inherited antigenic substance on the surface of red blood cells that is RBCs. These antigens may be proteins, carbohydrates and glycoproteins or glycolipids depending on the blood group system. So this is the classification of blood grouping but perhaps it is in general we should know about it that it is antigen antibody reaction. Let's move forward to the next slide. Need for blood grouping. Need for blood grouping that is uh, during blood transfusion, hemolytic disease of newborn, paternity dispute, medical legal use, susceptibility to various diseases, routine health checkup. So as you all know, the blood grouping is a very important part in hospital or in a pathology because sometimes patient comes, gunshot patient comes and maybe accidental patient comes and having i mean lost so much so much of blood so we have to immediately uh, conduct the blood group and it, it, is, it is sent to the blood bank and perhaps it is required for the transfusion abo antigen and antibodies reciprocal relationship between abo antigens and antibodies so it's clearly shown over here see if a is if antigen a is there and anti antibody a b is and uh, antibody b is there the blood group is a if antigen rb is containing antigen b and antibody is a that means the group is b if the antigen ab is present and no antibody is present that means the group is ab and none antigens and both the antibodies are present the group is o group this is a clear picture you can see it over here, AB antigen corresponding antibodies, if the group is A, that means the antibody present is anti B and the antigen present is anti antigen A. If the group is B, so antibody is A and antigen is B. If the group is AB, no antibodies present and AB antigen is there. If the, if the group is O, so A antibody and B antibody is there no antigen is there this is again a very good description students kindly watch it carefully it is very important this description is very important for you okay universal donor and recipient as you all know o group is a universal donor and the recipient uh, universal recipient is ab ab positive or ab group so neither uh, O group has no antigen, no, neither A or B antigen present over there and A, uh, group AB patient has no anti, anti A, anti B present and cannot lyse and it transfuse cells. So today we are going to discuss about slight grouping. It's a very simple procedure and perhaps uh, it is very handy also, it can be used in you can say blood banks when they conducts a field i mean for, for the camps the, the technicians go to the field they have to immediately conduct the uh, blood group for a mass where the, where the, where, where the people are present in more of number so you have to do immediately some kind of uh, blood grouping so slide method is preferred over there so advantage preliminary typing tests and use during camps and what are disadvantages not routine tests, less sensitive, drying of reactions, giving to false positive results. So, this is the principle. The procedures used with the anti are based on the principle of agglutination. Normal human red cells possessing antigens will clump in the presence of corresponding antibodies. So this is the principle and you should also uh, memorize this thing because it is very much required 
when you will be dealing with your patients maybe some of the patients can ask this questions so you should be well equipped with theoretical aspect how you can explain the these things to the patients so methods is slide region uses anti a sera it is a blue color anti b sera it is a yellow color and normal saline 0.85% gram per deciliter that is sodium chloride in distilled water so these are the things these are requirements to conduct this test so this is a very cle clear picture of the uh, anti a anti b and anti d these are the things which is required for conducting this test for blood grouping doing blood grouping these are also known as anti sera so just clearly uh, it's clearly shows that anti a is blue colored anti b is yellow colored and anti d is colorless okay specimen collection and preparation no special preparation of the patient is required prior to specimen collection blood should be collected by approved technique the test should be performed immediately otherwise it is necessary to store the specimen at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade so this kind of preservation is also required maybe due to the overload at the pathology if you are not able to continue the uh, blood grouping for 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 the patients maybe you can store it in uh, at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade so this is the edd vial which is uh, which is required for conducting a blood group but we can also do it from uh, clotted blood also because we need only cells rest cell collected and should be tested within these are the time span in, in during which we have to conduct this test that is edta 2 days oxalate 14 days heparin 2 days sodium citrate 14 days acd that is acid citrate dextrose 28 days and clotted whole blood that is 14 days procedure prepare as 10 percent suspension of red blood cells in normal saline and preparation method is mix five drops of sediment red cells with 2 ml of normal saline centrifuge at 1500 rpm for one to two minutes discard super latent add 2 ml of normal saline to the sediment red cells mix well this gives us 10 percent suspension of red cells and just to brief you students Washing of cells is always required while performing this test because it will give you 100% accuracy and saline wash should be at least minimum of 5 times and, you, and it is the procedure written over there like you just put, put the red cells in a test tube, fill it with normal saline, mix it, centrifuge, centrifuge it at 1500 rpm for say 1 to 2 minutes, take it out, decant the supernatant and then again perform the same procedure. Then take the RVCs and conduct the tests. On one half of a glass slide, place one drop of anti A blood grouping serum. So, this is here we comes to the procedure. One on the other, other half of the slide, place one drop of anti, anti B anti uh, blood grouping serum. Using a partial pipette, add one drop of the cell suspension to half to each half of the slide. A separate applicator sticks mix each cell mix serum mixture well tilt the slide back and forth and observe for agglutination so this is the procedure you should we should all always follow first we have to take two two clean glass slides and on one half of the glass slide place one drop of anti a blood grouping serum on the other half of the slide place one drop of anti b blood grouping serum Using a partial pipette, add one drop of the cell suspension to each half of the slide. With separate applicator sticks, mix each cell serum mixture well, tilt the slide back and forth and observe for agglutination. Note, test that shows no agglutination within 2 minutes are considered negative. Do not interpret peripheral drying or fibrillar strands as agglutination. So this is very important for you students. So these are the this is a very good description about the reaction and interpretation so this is a very good clear cut picture description over here when the anti d anti b or anti a uh, drops are being uh, put on the slice and over over them the rest cells 
that uh, for the patients whose, whose group has been conducted is kept over there is put over there and they, they are being uniformly mixed and the interpretation will be noted suppose if there is augmentation in a side is clearly visible over there that uh, you can see see it the a side is showing agglutination and anti d side is showing agglutination so interpretation will be the result will be a positive so the interpretation for this slide is like if there is agglutination on b side a no agglutination on a side and agglutination on anti d side that means the group will be b positive obtain blood obtained by finger puncture may be tested directly by the slide method to avoid clotting the clotted blood on the slide should be moved quickly with the anti -sphere. like when we go in the blood i mean uh, from blood bank we go for a camps we have we need to conduct blood over there immediately the puncture is made and immediately the blood being is being tested so that it, it shouldn't be uh, causing problem when the blood is clotted so immediately the test should be conducted in a very fast manner so that the blood does not clot thank you so this is my a, a special request to the students kindly go through this this slides and this procedures and perform this this test practical in, in practical with full diligence full intelligence and with full concentration because though it is very it looks very simple but perhaps when you are going to perform it that there could be various aspects associated with it that we, we are going to uh, describe it in our next slide so perhaps till then take care and have a nice day